What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Eric, and I'm excited to bring you my review of a film I just checked out last night called The Menu. The film was penned by Will Tracy and Seth Rice, and I'm going to read this right off the internet. It focuses on a young couple who visits an exclusive destination restaurant on a remote island where the acclaimed chef has prepared a lavish tasting menu along with some shocking surprises. Ladies and gentlemen, I had no expectations. I didn't know what I was walking into. I kind of had the feeling, the, the vibe that it was going to have some horror elements, some shocking surprises along the way, but didn't expect a whole lot. In fact, I didn't even know what movie I was going to watch. I was debating between this and two others, a Will Ferrell Christmas movie that's a musical. So I decided, you know, I'm not into musicals too much. Let me wait a little more towards Christmas time to check that one out, as well as a George Clooney and Julia Roberts kind of romantic comedy. Now, I love both of them, especially in the Oceans franchise, but... While that movie would be safe, I'm sure it would be fine. I wanted to take a risk and see if I could find something just a little more edgy. Something that might be awesome, and it might also be complete trash. I'm happy to report the menu is amazing. Oh my goodness. That is the best movie I've seen in years at the movie theater. I don't even know how to describe the genre here. Obviously, there are horror elements. There's lots of elements about food culture you know, high priced dining and all of the snobs that go to these restaurants and well-to-dos who complain and don't understand or don't appreciate all of the art and all of the effort that goes in to making a perfect dining experience. This is the goal of the employees and especially the chef. You have the know-it-all douchebag who has to use all the terminology and show just how much he knows when he couldn't cook a hot dog in a microwave. And then we have our main character played by Anya Taylor-Joy, who we can actually relate to. She's more of a normal person. She was invited here by said douchebag. And we have our story. And it starts out as just an interesting story. It's funny. It's entertaining. You do get a little creepy vibe for sure. Some of the things that are said, and this is the interesting thing, are just off. Just off that the chef says, even the greeting from, you know, that the words might be normal and what you might expect, but the behavior, the tone, and some of the words are like, and that creates this really spooky vibe. You know, something weird, something's going to happen. It's a movie. Something's going to happen. So it's kind of edge of your seat for a while, but it doesn't make you wait forever until shit starts going down. And that's pretty much all I can say without getting too deep into the plot, because I don't want to spoil anything. I want you all to check this out. I will say the cast is fantastic. There are some recognizable names. John Leguizamo is in this movie. He plays like a movie star with big money, obviously, into this type of culture. Judith Light is in this movie. There are food critics who are going to this restaurant, to this experience on this island. And like I said, you know, they just don't really appreciate it. And it has been weighing down on the cooks and the chef probably for years. And they have something really interesting planned for the evening. That's what I'll say. And it is interesting to the viewer. It is thrilling. It's exciting. You will be shaking at times. Your hands will be like this at times. I mean, it's going to be like, whoa. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. And there are many moments where I think I know what's going to happen. Where, oh, okay, I've seen enough movies. This is going to happen. Yeah, here it goes. Oh, shit. I think I know what's going to happen so many times, and it doesn't. One time I predicted something that was going to happen, I was right. But even then, at that point in the movie, I didn't know I was going to be right. I'm like, well, I think maybe this will happen, but I don't know, because it's been unpredictable so far. It's extremely unpredictable. Sometimes what you think will happen might happen, but many times it won't. You just don't know. You just don't know what's going on here, but nothing happens in this movie that is stupid. Nothing happens in this movie that... Uh, especially the comedy. The comedy is actually genuinely funny, but it's you sparingly. It's not in your face stupid humor. It's you sparingly and it does not cut into the horror, the drama, anything like that. It's not a movie that's trying to tell a joke a minute and trying to just get you on the floor laughing. It knows it's not that kind of movie. It doesn't try to do that. Okay? And we've seen many that do. Okay, Marvel? not trying to point any fingers. And when movies do that, oftentimes they're not even funny. If you're gonna tell a joke a minute, at least be funny. This movie is genuinely funny. 
It is genuinely shocking. And you, you feel yourself there because you have the main character there experiencing this who is more of a normie and not into this culture. Now, if you are into this culture, I think you'll still love the movie. You can still relate to her and you'll actually get more of the jokes. I'm not saying I'm big into this culture. I've never been to one of these type of restaurants. For me, Denny's is a fancy restaurant. So trust me, I'm not into this culture too much. But I was able to pick up on a lot of the humor. I probably didn't get every single joke. Maybe there were jokes I didn't even realize they were jokes. But overall, just as an overall experience, this movie just blew me away. It was absolutely incredible. The ending was perfect. And I have absolutely no criticisms of this movie. None. None. This movie was absolutely brilliant. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen. And I don't remember the last time I was this satisfied going to the movies. It was probably like around 2019 with the Joker. Now I did see a great movie last year and uh, I mean, I see great movies, they come around, but this is pretty much perfection. This is one of the best movies I've ever seen. So I absolutely love this movie. And I've already loved like this movie called Burnt. That's kind of about this kind of culture, but it wasn't a horror. It had a, a little bit of an edge to it. I mean, it had a good story and I love that movie with Bradley Cooper, I believe. So that movie is awesome. And I just love the fact that, you know, it was, yes, chef, everyone, you know, it's like a little military kind of deal going on. And the chef is the man and sometimes gets pissed off and chews everyone out. Or, you know, this particular chef in this movie, maybe is not such a drill sergeant type. He has a more of just a menacing, like you don't want to piss this dude off. I don't know what he's capable of, but he's scary as hell. He doesn't yell. He doesn't scream in your face. But he is a scary mother effer. He is like a horror villain in this movie in a way. You don't know what he's going to do, when he's going to do it, how he's going to do it, what's going to happen. This whole evening just gets weirder and weirder and more sinister and more sinister as it goes on. And wow, that's it. I can't say anything else. Go see this movie. It is called The Menu. Put it on your menu for the evening. Please don't miss it. I absolutely loved this movie absolute masterpiece best movie i've seen at the theaters in many 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 years guys have a fantastic day let me know what you think about it maybe i'm praising it a little too much but i genuinely didn't find any faults in the movie i'm not just gonna and and and, and interestingly enough the movie makes you think about yourself like if you're uh, somebody even if you're not a movie reviewer on youtube you know i re review movies on youtube but we all kind of talk shit about things that we couldn't do better you know i sit here and say you know man the dialogue was terrible the expository dialogue was ridiculous the cgi was garbage as if i could do any better you know with cgi or even with a script you know like i know what i'm doing and this movie will make you think about that whatever it is that you criticize now i'm not saying i will i'm gonna stop criticizing movies but you do recognize that, hey, I mean, shout out to, the, to them for trying because I'm not even out there trying. You know, I'm not making movies. I would love to. I would love to write a script and try, but I'm not even trying. So who am I to talk shit about movies? Well, I'm happy to say I don't have to talk shit about this one because this one was absolutely phenomenal. 10 out of 10 for the freaking menu. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.